Hey YouTube, this is Brand the Shapeshifter here, and I actually wanted to do a video because I wanted to do a book review on Stephen King's It. Um, I have the book right here. Uh, so this was obviously a very, very long book. It took me like three months to like finish it, and I actually read this book like a few years back, um, like back in 2016, 17. It was 2016, um, and then that's when I knew, <clears throat> I found out that they were going to do a, a movie um, for, like, you know, like, the, the It Chapter 1 that came out in chapter, that came in 2017. So, I did that. So, I read the, I read the book, and um, I just wanted to do a review on it. Um, so, I thought that the book was really, really good. Um, <clears throat> I think that, <clears throat> well, anybody who doesn't know, what the book is about. Uh, it is about um, a group of kids, uh, the Losers Club, um, is comprised of seven misfits from Derry, Maine, and they basically have to um, come face to face with this evil entity called uh, named Pennywise, the Dancing Clown. He's an evil entity from the macroverse uh, who can shape shift into anything, uh, into your greatest fears. And they have to overcome their fears to defeat uh, Pennywise. Um, and there's a lot of, uh, um, I would say that it is a very, very, uh, disturbing book. Um, there's a lot of, uh, horrible things that happen to children in this book. Um, I think that, I, let me just start saying that I really like, it. I really like the book. I really did like it. And, um, I did feel like it did drag in certain spots, like, because this was like over like 1,100 pages. Like, this is like an 1,100 page book, like, you know? So, I would say that there were certain parts where I feel like it, just, it was kind of like dragging and, you know, um, did it have to be 1,100 pages? No, it didn't have to be that long. But, um, but I will say that I did, there was a lot of parts of it that I really enjoyed. Um, I love, I really love the, the, the Losers Club, I love their, um, their, um, uh, their bond, <clears throat> and that they came together to, like, you know, defeat this, uh, well, not just Pennywise, because there's more than one antagonist, uh, in the, in, in the movie, in the book, rather, um, and, like, you know, because he's dealing with Henry Bowers and, and, you know, and all of his, uh, his gang, and so, um, there definitely is a lot of, uh, problems that come their way. And, but, I really, and also, too, like, there was a lot of, like, you know, scary parts that, that went on in, um, in, uh, in chapter, in, in, in it, the book. There was a lot of scary, there was a lot of scary, um, moments in it as well, a lot of creepy moments. Um, and I thought that it was, they were well written. Um. The book is actually based in, um, uh, well, it's, it's two time periods, so there's one when, when they were kids, and then there's one when they were adults, and, like, you know, when they were kids, they were, you know, it was the 1950s, and, you know, they defeated Pennywise, but, you know, in the 1950s, like, you know, Pennywise actually killed a lot of children. <laughs> um, he would, he would, like, well, actually, he killed a, a lot of kids throughout, like, you know, like, since there were actually settlers in, in um, Gary Main, which leads back all the way back to like the 1700s or maybe the 1600s. Um, and he goes, he goes, he sleeps every 27 years and, you know, he, uh, uh, he comes back to feed. So, um, but I definitely felt like, uh, it was a really great movie. Um, uh, I mean, I, did, I definitely felt like it was a great book. Um, I was, as I was reading it and then I watched the movie, there's obviously a lot of differences, um, because like in the, in the, in the movie, they, they, they change the, they move the, uh, the time period. So in the movie, it starts off in the 1980s, and then when they do chapter, they do chapter 2, they're going to do, um, which is coming out this September, which I can't wait to see, um, it's going to be in present day, 2016, well, we're in 2019, but it's going to be, you know, um, based in 2016, 27 years later. Um, but in this one, it's based off in the 50s, and then, you know, 27 years later, I'm sure it's in the 80s. Um, 
I really, really, um, my actually, my favorite parts of the book um, were the, you know, the different parts where Pennywise would like turn into different features and attack the kids. So like, there was actually a couple, so there was one specific um, uh, story with uh, Mike Hanlon. Now Mike Hanlon is kind of like the historian, he's like a novice historian of the, of the town. Um, and he's the only African American kid um, in the group of the Losers Club. You know, he, he, him and his dad face a lot of like racism um, and dairy, like especially with like Henry Bowers and his father uh, uh, Butch Bowers. And um, and even like I believe it was Butch and Henry had like like poisoned their dog or something like that. It was something along those lines. Um, and they basically poisoned their their uh, Mike's dog. Well, anyway, they, uh, the part I love is when um, Mike Hanley goes to the, the, the Ironworks uh, area and they, you know, because his father asked him to, like, look for a, uh, a souvenir. And then as he's there, <laughs> Mike basically, uh, he looks down, like, well, he's, he's, like, going, he's, like, doing, he's exploring. And then, like, you know, he sees, like, this, like, ditch or something like that. But then he sees, like, you know, it's Pennywise is down there. But he, it's a, he's in the form of a bird. And, like, but the bird is, like, huge. It's, like, it's, like, a big-ass bird. Like, you know. And, um, and it tries to, like, attack him. It tries to kill Well, it tries to eat him, essentially. But then, you know, Mike gets away because he gets, he, like, you know, he crawls into this, like, hole. And then, like, you know, in this hole, like, you know, there's these tiles, and he's, like, throwing the tiles at, at Pennywise. And at one point, the, one of the tiles, like, actually hits um, the bird, like, right in the eye. And the flies away. But, like, you know, it was, it's so, um, there's a lot of different, like, uh, really great um, uh, stories. Uh, which, I, you know, I wish, I honestly wish that there was, um, there was, it's like so, a lot of the different stories that was in this book, I wish they would have translated that to like the book. I mean, to the movie, to the movie. Because, like, another one, another part was when, um, where Richie and Bill decide to go to um, the the house on 29 Nebel Street, um, Nebel Street, whatever. And you know, and then Bill like, you know. He has like this pistol because he wants to try to kill him because you know Pennywise had uh, had already killed Georgie. That's Bill's younger brother who ripped his arm off. So he had already killed him, and you know, so Bill wanted like revenge on you know on this creature on it. <clears throat> and um, they go to the house of 29 Nightwolf Street, and not to mention like like, in, like a, a few days prior, Eddie Casbrack, um, who's also part of the Losers Club, had told had told them. How like they he saw like there was this hobo basically tried to attack him. Um, it, it was Pennywise obviously because you know Pennywise, you know the, Eddie's Eddie's thing is that he's like a like a germaphobe like he's like a hypochondriac. You know, he's a hypochondriac, and um, so he has like this huge like this big fear of always getting sick, and he or he thinks that he is because his mother is like, overbearing and. It's, so his mother's always trying to act like, you know, oh, Eddie, you're sick, or, oh, Eddie, you're so frail, oh, Eddie, like, you know what I'm saying? So Eddie kind of, like, believes it. Um, and so one of his fears is, like, it's, like, catching, like, catching something, like, you know, like, catching some sort of, like, you know, disease or whatever. So that's, like, one of his, like, fears. Like, that's why Pennywise turned into that, like, uh, it, uh, into that hobo that had, um, uh, a leper. He was, he was, a, he was a leper. Um, and so anyway, uh, Bill and Richie decide to go to 29 Nightwolf Street, and then um, they, again, they encounter Pennywise as they were there, and then Pennywise attacks them, but the, the thing is, like, you know, Richie can see a werewolf, but Bill can see a, uh, a clown, like, they, so they, they see two different, like, you know, because Pennywise has that ability, like, he can make you see what he wants you to see, and, um, you know, they somehow, like, you know, Bill, like, shoots Pennywise, like, you know, in the head and, like, parts of his, but it doesn't really affect him, really, because you can't really kill Pennywise, um, with, like, conventional means. Like, you have to, it has to be something more, you know, to kill him. And, um, and, you know, 
they get out the cellar and then like they, then like you know Pennywise grabs Bill, tries to drag him back, and then and then Richie basically uses the powder and like it was like this like itchy powder and he blows it into Pennywise's face and, and you know Pennywise is like you know he he basically is shocked because he sneezes or whatever and he's like shocked that that, that it worked and then you know they both get up and they run and they try to like they run on their bike whatever. But Pennywise is not done with them, so they Pennywise like runs after them, and you know it's like you know um, he actually hits, he actually swipes Richie in the, in the forehead at one point, um, but then eventually he gives up, and because you know he'll, he gives up eventually. Um, but there's like a lot, there's like a lot of different um, stuff that goes, and it's like I said, even in the movie, um, there's a lot of different, a lot of differences um, because again, like they don't really show a lot of the different they don't show a lot of the stories like how they like you know um i know i know that in it chapter two they're going to be doing um they're going to be showing uh adrian mellon so anybody who doesn't know who adrian mellon is um adrian mellon is uh, a character in it and the, from the 1980s supposed to be like in present day and he was a he was he was gay, and he had a like you know him and his his uh, his gay lover uh, uh, Don Haggerty were like you know they were like leaving this like club or something like that, and these homophobic teenagers who actually um, they met like a few weeks prior because like I guess like you know they were mad because you know Adrian Adrian was like wearing this like this hat or something it was like some sort of weird hat like with a flower on top of it or something like that and. They, you know, they call him names, they call him faggot and all that stuff like that. They'll call him a whole bunch of different names. Um, but, well, actually, when I was, okay, so actually, um, in the book, there's a lot of homophobia, um, in the book. Like I said, with Adrian Mellon, like how, like, they were basically, they all basically beat the crap out of him, um, because he's gay. And they're homophobes. And they actually throw his body over the bridge, and, but... By the bridge, like under the bridge is where Pennywise is. Like Pennywise is like, is like under the bridge, and um, and then he goes and he basically. It's first said that Pennywise like takes a bite out of his armpit or something like that at an agent's armpit, but then later it's said it's told that like um, later it's said that uh, Pennywise um, actually like crushes him or something. He somehow crushes his like his somehow crushes him. And he did have like some sort of like big chunk of meat um, missing from his body, but like you know, there's like a lot of homophobia in um, in the book. There's a lot of racism, and like, like some parts are very hard to read because you know I am a gay black male, so that hits home for me. Um, like the the N word is always being used in that in that um, in this book. Uh, the F word is used a lot as well, um, and so there's a lot of lot of like uncomfortable like situations and like you know topics that are being set in the book and I think and I, and I think that um it, it was hard for me to read it was um just as a, a black African American a gay African American male who um you know that could have been to me you know because it, 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 it's home for me you know um but I know that uh in, in chapter two which I'm so excited about I think that Bill Skarsgård does a really great job as Pennywise the Dancing Clown. I actually didn't watch, um, so I watched uh, It, uh, the miniseries, the, for the first time back in, um, I, I saw it like back in, I believe, like, like a few years back, like maybe like 2015 or 14. That's when I first saw it, and I wasn't scared about it, I wasn't scared. Um, and then, um, and then that's when I, that's when I, that's when I was interested in the book. I, like, maybe, like, a, like, a year or two later, I read the book. And, like I said, it took me, like, a long time to read, because this is, this is a heavy, hefty book, you know? It's a heavy book, um, with a lot of pages. Um, they also talk a lot about, uh, there's a lot of, like, domestic violence, especially with Beverly. You know, Beverly, she, you know, her, her father abused her a lot, like, you know, he's always... He abused her quite a lot, and um, and as she got older, and she, you know, she found herself a man um, in a relationship. She's in a man. She's in a relationship with uh, Tom Rogan, and he also, like, you know, beats her, and like, you know, he's really like abusive towards her. So there's also like that talks about, and this, but there's a lot of like, 
there's a lot, just a lot of, um, of, like, like, the kids are brutally murdered. Like, I think the most tragic story in it was, uh, the story of Eddie Corcoran and his brother Dorsey. And, like, it's just so hard to read because, like, these are children being, like, abused and they're being, like, slaughtered by, like, you know, and it's just, like, it's really, really hard to, um, to read. Like, you know, so there's certain parts of the book that are just, like, wow. Like, you know, like, and it's, like, and I, honestly, I, I believe that Eddie Corcoran and Dorsey, um, their story is so, so, like, um, it's just really, really tragic. It's a tragic story. Um, and, um, what else? Um, but I really, but overall, though, I did enjoy the book, though. Um, I thought that Pennywise was obviously, he's very, very, um, entertaining. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's very creepy and scary, um, which I thought was cool. And I really loved, like, their, uh, the loser stuff, their bond, and, um, I just, I, I, as a whole, I really like the book. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments. What is, have you read it? Um, Stephen King's It, have you read it? Um, what do you think of it? Um, and are you excited for it in chapter two? So, let me know in the comments below. And be sure to hit the like button, and also just subscribe. Thank you.